Hello, this is Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com. Love yourself from Survive to Thrive, that lady on the internet who loves you. And I want to talk to you today about the power of love. Love is a very common word. We hear it all the time. People throw it around all the time. I come on here and tell you I'm, I love you. I'm that lady on the internet who loves you. And I don't do that lightly. And so I want to talk about the power of love. What do you think about love? When you pause and think about that for a minute, what, how would you define love? What is love to you? What does it mean to you to be loved, to feel loved? Because love is the single greatest need that humans have outside of like, breathing and eating that just keeps our body alive. But I've shared before about, there was a study years ago with these Reese's monkeys or something like that about they could be fed with this wire monkey or they could not be fed and have this warm fuzzy monkey. And you know, which would they choose? And they chose the warm fuzzy because love is an inherent need for all of us, animals and humans. We need love. And so I, I was thinking about my book. I have a little book called Love's Manifesto that I wrote back in 2016. And I was looking at it today and noticing how I have updated things in the back of it about me and how I have changed over these last five years, but I have never changed the content of that book because love has remained the same and how that love has changed me. Because love is powerful. We, we hear songs, there's songs on the radio, the power of love and all that. And we hear those and it's, so easy to just let those go by. And I, I want to stop and say, think about it. In my book, Love's Manifesto, it's got three main little chapters. And the first one is, what is love? The second one is, why we don't believe it? And the third one is, what does it take to convince us? Because we struggle with knowing that we're loved. We might say, I know that, but when you're having a bad day, when you have done something you feel was terribly wrong, do you still feel loved? And if not, why? I went many, many, many years not feeling loved. And it was in incremental little things that I got to the place where I am now. And there were various tools that God used in my life to convince me that I was lovable, that I was worthy of love. And one of the things that comes against us believing that we're loved, especially by God, is there's toxic religion out there that throws around how God loves you, but, and God loves you if, and God loves you when. And those are not right. They are not right. God loves you, period. There is no other shoe to drop. There is no but. There is no if. Jesus took care of all of that. And even before Jesus came and did that, God did that in the Old Testament for anyone who would dare to believe that. There's stories after stories of people who tapped into that love because they dared to believe it. And having faith in love is part of how we can access that love. I know that's how I got a little bit of it in my life. My husband was a gift that God gave me with unconditional love. I felt so unlovable. I I struggled so much, but it was it was a supernatural intervention in my life for God to do that. And I had that thing and it unveiled in front of me someone who loved me no matter how ugly I got in my behavior. I mean, when I got pregnant with my kids, pregnancy and me did not get along. I turned into an emotional basket case when I was pregnant. And I would tell my husband over and over again that he deserved a medal just for staying with me because I wanted to leave me. 
I tried doing that. I went for a walk one day. I walked seven miles while I was pregnant, like six months pregnant or something like that, trying to get away from myself, which is really ludicrous. I know how stupid it sounds. But when you're in so much emotional pain, we do strange things because we need to know we're loved. We need to know that we're okay. We need to know that we are worthy. We need to know that we are enough and that someone wants to wrap their arms around us and say, I got you. And that's the power of love. The power of love is, is the almighty God wrapping his arms around you and say, I got you. I don't care how ugly it gets. I'm not leaving. I got you forever. I wanted to share that with you. And if you don't have a copy of my Love's Manifesto, I give it away at my website. I have it on my Facebook, my Instagram, all over the place. Grab a copy. I mean, it's a short little book. It's in PDF or it's in audio. And it's not even 10 minutes long. That's how short it is. And you would be amazed at how powerful it will touch your heart and convince you that you're loved. And you may need to listen to it a few times. You know how long it took me to believe that God loved me? This might shock you. It took 34 years. 34 years. And so that says a couple of things. I know I dealt with shame because I'm like, what's wrong with me that I'm taking so long? But God didn't shame me. And the other thing is that God never gave up on me. He never gives up on you. He loves you, period. Right there, right now. The little subtitle of that book is to be seen, to be known, to be loved into wholeness. And that's what love will do. The power of love can bring wholeness to your insides and bring you a joy that you can just carry around everywhere. And then you'll start sharing it at other places. Like I'm that lady on the internet who loves you. I have to do this because I know how powerful knowing your loved is. And so it's why I do this, why I share this, why I come on here and tell you that I love you, because you matter. Because you matter and you are worth it and you are loved deeply, completely, wholly, and eternally. And so until next time, I'm Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com. Love yourself from Survive to Thrive, that lady on the internet who loves you. Bye-bye.